I think one of the myths about thought leadership, especially for those who are outside it, is that they think of it much more perhaps as like an extended version of public relations or corporate comms. What they don't understand is that really good insights are often based on a lot of original first party data. And I think that also separates us from a lot of others who write about it, where just to give you an example, McKinsey Global Surveys, we have a panel of close to 30,000 executives who give us first party data. And out of that come out a lot of insights. And that's data that you don't get anywhere else. That's very timely. We can ask questions. We can respond very quickly to what's happening. For example, if there's a war in Ukraine, what does that mean for energy? What does that mean for supply chain? If there is a pandemic, but we can actually get real time responses. And that leads to then um, insights that are based on kind of contemporary actual facts on the ground rather than just kind of op-ed kind of writing. 